Do we have any younger children among us at this time? <laughs> do you want me to do the children's message for you anyway? Yeah. Oh, that's a good thing. You'll be happy. <laughs> yeah. Pastor's got some candy. Ron, should I share this candy with people? I should? You were nice to me. No, you weren't. You trumped several of my aces. You beat me in cards. I don't think that's very nice. I guess I should. I should share this candy, shouldn't I? How many of you brought candy to share with me? Well, why should I share with you if you're not going to share with me? This is kind of what Jesus is talking about when he talks about who the Pharisees invite to dinner. They're inviting people that can come and they'll invite him at other times. And just their being there because they're important, well, that'll look good on him. We don't like to admit it, but we operate that way, don't we? What I would ask the kids, that's why I'll ask little Ronnie here. Little Ronnie, if you had a birthday party, would you just invite people that couldn't bring you a gift? No, you invite people. In fact, make sure you invite the people that give you a real big gift, right? But what is Jesus telling us? Who has he said we should invite? Invite those who can't bring gifts. Invite people that no one else would invite. He mentions the poor, the crippled, and the lame. Those are people the Pharisees wouldn't invite because they considered them to be unclean. Think in your mind who you might consider to be unclean and not worthy. Jesus wants us to share like he shared with us. When we were unclean and unworthy, he came and died on the cross, giving everything that he had his very life to save us and continues to give every day through the word and sacrament, through the word that we preach, renew your faith and strengthen your faith, even when we don't deserve it and especially because we don't earn it. That's how Jesus wants us to share with others. So therefore, I should share candy. Now, I wasn't expecting to do the whole church, but should I pass this around, everybody? Will you cry if you don't get something? Take one if you want. Check with your parents if they're here to make sure you can have it. Because that's how we should give, isn't it? Not because you're going to give something to me, but because Christ has given me so much. And I need to demonstrate his love and sharing with others. Let's pray real quick, and then you can continue passing. And you can repeat after me. Dear Jesus, Jesus, thank you you for sharing your very life life with me. me. Help me to share share your gospel gospel with the works of my hands hands and words of my mouth mouth with with others. In your name I pray. Amen. We continue on with our sermon hymn.